Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone had a great weekend. If you're in the United States, it was a long weekend, a three-day weekend because of Labor Day. Hope you guys had a great time. Of course, I did some great cooking. I, I might have made the most perfect rack of ribs I've ever done today. Today's Monday. <clears throat> but it was like 162 degrees outside with 947% humidity. It was messing with my hair, so I'm terrible. That's what happens, though. Anyway, I want to tell you a little story. Why don't you grab some popcorn, perhaps make yourself comfortable in a beverage, and I'm going to tell you a story. <clears throat> in May, March, March, not May, I did my first fish show, the Northeast Council, the NEC, up in Cromwell, Connecticut. I had a great time. I uh, got to really know Lisa and Martin from Super Cichlids, two of my favorite people ever. <clears throat> Uh, in the fish hobby for sure and I got to meet some other really great people. I got to meet Jason from Ocean Nutrition and San Francisco Bay Brand. Um, I did a live stream with Jason. I'll put a link up here to that live stream for you to check it out. Jason, uh, like I said, works for Ocean Nutrition and San Francisco Bay Brand and we talked for a while there. He said he had seen my channel and I did a quick little interview with him while we were there. Um, and we talked for a while after that. He sent me some food. As you know, a lot of people send me stuff to review. <clears throat> One of the other people I met was Greg Jones. You know, from the channel, Greg Jones, and from my aquarium box. You know, today is Tuesday tip Tuesday, episode number 9,642. You know, that Greg Jones. And to my surprise, which I was quite happy about. Greg Jones is one of the most down-to-earth nice guys I've ever met. You know how some people on Facebook, or I'm sorry, <clears throat> on YouTube have a persona like a tough guy or a know-it-all? <clears throat> I'm not talking about anyone specific. <clears throat> I'm just saying that in real life, Greg Jones is the same Greg Jones as I watch on YouTube. Now, I don't watch Greg's stuff uh, every week, every episode he puts out. I do watch some of his things. Um, I like his style because it's pretty simple like mine. Um, but I don't, I don't watch everything of his. I also don't subscribe to My Aquarium Box. If you're not familiar with My Aquarium Box, that's kind of how, what he's known for. Um, My Aquarium Box is a subscription, um, aquarium box <laughs> that uh, so basically every month you get a box full of stuff for your fish tank and you don't know what's in it and you don't know if you like it or not gonna like it or is it useful but you pay and every month you get a box so if you like surprises like trying new things it's the way to go check out myaquariumbox.com if you haven't already it's really not for me um, but I know a lot of people use it and really really like it <clears throat> If you go on YouTube and just type in My Aquarium Box, there's about 14,647 um, videos about it. It's pretty cool. Um, Peck Tech, I like his My Aquarium Box unboxing videos. He does a fantastic job with editing and stuff. But anyway, check out MyAquariumBox.com. Anyway, so Greg and I, we talked for a while. Um, you know, we talked all weekend. He has a Subaru, so we had that in common. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> NEC ends, I drive home, he drives home, whatever. A couple days later, I get an email from Greg, hey, I wanna, you know, just say it was really nice talking to you, and you know, if you ever need anything from the website, let me know, I'd like to offer you a discount, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> okay, um, I didn't really take advantage of that because I didn't really wanna take advantage. Um, but, you know, we stayed in touch every now and again, we talk, and uh, just recently he, messaged me and said, hey, Mike, I need your address. I want to send you something. Okay. People send me stuff all the time. We have a China filter in here that's working. It's in a 20 gallon high. I know it's rated for 15 gallons. Um, and there's about 20 ginormous pregnant uh, female uh, cobra guppies and I don't know, 15 or so uh, calico placos in there, and it's it's going fine, you know. <clears throat> um, Jason from San Francisco Bay Brand sends me food 
uh, you know, Ocean Nutrition Food. He sent me a ginormous box of frozen food. Um, what else? I mean, I get sent stuff all the time. Tyler from Excalibur sent me food for Chewy, which by the way, he loves and is going awesome. Anyway, I didn't think much of it. <clears throat> so I get this note in a, a very small package. I get this note. Michael, sorry to hear about the fish room flood. Never a good feeling. Give us a try. Give this a try. Let us know if it helps. Always looking to help a fishy friend in need. The My Aquarium Box team. I'm like, that was really nice. And so what did he send me? He sent me this Flood Buzz Pro. Now, if you look at it, it looks like a metal hole saw. You know, this look. These are the teeth. This is the part that goes in the chuck. You know, but uh, it's got a plug on top. What? appears to be a plug there's nothing in it and there's two prongs on the bottom let me give you a close-up so that's what it looks like now it focus and that's the bottom and that's the top and there it is all right anyway so he sent this to me i thought that was really nice and really cool and i didn't really think much of it and i'm like you know what i'm gonna give it a try and that's what we're going to do here live. I open the package to show it to you. Here are the instructions. They're pretty simple. <coughs> How does Flood Buzz Pro work? Flood Buzz Pro has two metal prongs on the bottom of each unit. When water comes in contact with the metal prongs, it closes the circuit and sounds an up to 110 decibel alarm. Since the Flood Buzz Pro comes with an integral battery, all you have to do is place the unit next to any potential leak source. The unit is a maintenance-free unit until you replace it. There's no buttons to push, and the battery is not replaceable. So it's got a replace by date of uh, March 2021. So that's like two and a half years away, a little less maybe. I'm interested to see if it works. Are you ready? I got a little, little viewer here filled with water. Not filled, there's about an inch and a half. Let's see. It works. I wonder how little water it'll work with. Let's check. So there's like a drip of water in there. Wow. I'm impressed. My hand is, my thumb is wet and it's closing the circuit. Hmm. I guess I'm closing the circuit, but it doesn't shock. Just kidding. It didn't shock me. I think this is a pretty nifty gadget to have. I'll put a link to the uh, in the description to this on my aquarium box, but I think this is a pretty nifty thing to have. I'm not sure it's loud enough that it would have woke me on the third floor while I was sleeping, but it probably would have woken my dogs up and my dogs probably would have woken me up and I probably would have been like, what the? Oh, the alarm. I wonder if it's louder if there's more water. I think that's, that's what happens. Yeah, the deeper the water, the louder the alarm. That makes sense. I'm gonna give this a shot. And I think you should too. Check out myaquariumbox.com. It's called the Flood Buzz Pro. Guys, don't forget to check out Michael's Fish Room. Uh, this week, tomorrow, Thursday, I'm gonna be streaming with Mike from Green Oasis Farms. Mike and I uh, go way back. Actually, probably about two years ago, we started talking on Facebook. I liked his videos. Um, should be a good, good fun uh, stream. You know my streams are always fun. And uh, I've added some bettas, some fancy, fancy show bettas to uh, michaelsfishroom.com, so check that out. We still have the sale for muck guppies for another couple days, so don't forget to check that out. Six for the price of five. And of course, don't forget the Keystone Clash, the weekend of September 14th. I'll be there, and so should you. Guys, have a great Water Change Wednesday, and uh, see you later. I got get sent. Footbus Pro has two metal prongs 